Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm a food team coordinator at Fair Share, and that's a charity operated by Southampton's anti-poverty charity Scratch. We work with the food and drink industry um, to redistribute surplus food to local charities. We work with over 140 different charities in the Hampshire and Dorset area. Members are food bank, women's refuge centres, supporting young, um, vulnerable people, breakfast clubs, school clubs. The surplus food we receive is provided by various suppliers from the food and drink industry and supermarkets. A lot of the food that we get is surplus to requirement, um, so due to stock levels, but also there's other things which are included in the manufacturing process which cause there to be excess food, um, including packaging mistakes, damaged stock and other things, which means the food is still edible, but the food industry can't use it, so that's when they pass it on to us. The surplus food we receive changes by the day, and that's probably one of the most interesting things about it. We receive a large variety of different food. Um, one day it could be loads of bananas, the next day it would be loads of fruit juice, of random fruit juice that you've never heard of in your life. So it's quite an interesting part of it is being able to see um, what we receive every day, which would be totally different, and then pass that on to charities who are able to work with that and create um, hot meals for their clients. One of the major things we try and push to our food industry contacts is that they're having a massive impact on vulnerable people in our communities. My name's Dave, I'm a volunteer for Scratch. I heard uh, from a few sources that the food poverty situation was quite bad and I decided to come down, have a look and see what I could do to help. It gives me a reason to get up and get out and give my free time to help others in need. It's estimated that there's three million tonnes of surplus food in the UK every year. Uh, it's also estimated that there's four million uh, people living in poverty in the UK. Uh, so the two figures sort of match up in a weird way. So the idea that one in four parents on low incomes skip meals in order to feed their children is something which often isn't spoken about, but it's something which is prevalent in our society, really needs to be addressed. So that's what I love and what I get out of working for Fair Share is knowing that we're helping to address that issue. I'm doing work experience basically here, and I just help with the picking, the packing, and the deliveries. So we get to work with different people with um, diverse backgrounds, so they employ special needs people here as well. And everything that we pick and pack and everything, you get to see where it goes to people, really, basically, but basically things like food and stuff. Single mums and drug rehab places and stuff and that, and it, it's happened to me as well. And everyone's really nice here and they're really helpful. And if you don't know anything or you're having problems and stuff, there's always someone here to help you. I think that's why I'm staying on. Brought my flatmate down, so I've got some help. We need all the help we can get. Fine, I'm, I'm helping a good cause. I know I'm making a difference. To me, that's everything, really. If you want to get involved with volunteering, the best bet is to email us or get in contact with Fair Share Southern Central directly. Um, we'll then set you up a day where you can come in and have a look around the depot um, and see what you think about it. If you're able to come in and work once a week or once every couple of weeks, that's all we ask. Wherever you can help, really be appreciated.